A man who fought for the United States may soon be deported from the United States. Tonight, fellow veterans are sounding the alarm about Chong Won Kim. He came from South Korea as a kid. As an adult, he fought in the Iraq War and racked up a criminal record afterwards. The question, which matters more? KGW's Maggie Vespa is live downtown, and Maggie, Kim's friends know their answer. Yeah, Joe, definitely. You know, Kim, they say, considers Portland home. He's been here since he was five, and as an adult, he laid his life on the line to protect his home. But federal law does state that any crime, any conviction that could be constituted as an aggravated felony does put a non-citizen at risk of being deported. He deserves better. Roughly a decade after serving alongside Chong Won Kim in combat, Perry Gastineau learned of his friend's most recent fate on Facebook. It made me pissed, man. I mean, that's one of my boys. Gastineau says he and Kim enlisted together in the Army National Guard only to be deployed with the Army when the Iraq War started. Both men saw horrific things, and upon returning home, Kim struggled. We don't leave anybody behind. Like, Navy veteran Jordan Myers met Kim last year in a PTSD support group. He definitely is not the person that's described by his record. A record that includes multiple felony counts. The most recent attempted arson in early 2016. Since then, Gastineau says Kim has been clean and working. I mean, it's really, really sad to see something from the past come up and bite him when he was trying to do better. That something being Kim's immigration status. Immigration and Customs Enforcement confirms to KGW tonight the 42-year-old South Korean national is sitting in this detention center in Tacoma, Washington. Kim told a friend he's been there since early April. He may be deported back to South Korea. ICE cites his record. Fellow veterans yet, I'll, I'll point to his day. service. Yes, if you're willing to um, sacrifice your life potentially, if you're willing to write that blank check, uh, payable up to and you know, including your life uh, for the United States of America, I think that you've earned uh, the right to live in the United States of America. Yeah, of course, a lot of opinions on this one. Now, Kim's friends are raising money for his legal fees and reaching out to lawmakers for help. That includes Oregon Governor Kate Brown and U.S. Senator Patty Murray. We reached out to both offices as well, and at this point, we've heard back from Senator Murray's staff there saying they are aware of Kim's case and looking into it. At this point, no court date for Kim has been set.